I think most of the art that we make, we're really just recreating memories. Recreating stories we once thought of or places we once wished we were. And as I've grown into an adult, I just find it somewhere that I still want to escape to. And for me, all of that imagery kind of functions as creating a wonder. All the detail in my work tends to just come from an automatic place. It's like this meditative process of filling a space that needs to be filled. I, I sometimes plan where it's going. I know where certain elements need to be, but I tend to just trust my hand because when I start to overthink it, I, I think it, it loses the fluidity. I start with the figures. I always start with the figures. They almost become entry points and I know they'll function as major entry points for the viewer as well because people aren't going to be looking directly at the tiny little detail the first thing they see. When people look at my work and think like, oh, fantasy, I'm like, this kind of thing has been being done in art forever. It's Renaissance, it's pre-Renaissance, it's historical art, you know? What, else, what is there to make art about except for life, death, beauty, and pain? Portraying the grotesque or the disgusting as something beautiful is just a challenge and it's a way for people to understand that ugly and beautiful are really not so different. When it comes to learning to create your practice, to being an artist, I feel like for me that meditative process of being a studious artist actually really helped me. However, I do think that whatever material you're using, whatever medium you're using, you need to get down to the basics. So in my work, surfaces are almost more important than the materials. Anything that just functions really well with what I'm going to use, like, like getting a really smooth surface for oil, especially on these like ampersand boards, on the gesso boards, I never painted on anything like it. It was like putting butter down and it just went down so, so smoothly. I also just love working on natural wood surfaces. Something about like the, the quality of working on a natural wood and letting that exposed wood come through. I think I'm sometimes more in love with surfaces than I am like an art material. I think it's important for artists to create community and find common spaces in order to support each other and just create that bond. In one way, it's amazing. There are so many different styles. There are so many different places and kinds of art. But in another way, it's very isolating. But I also think that you can create community with artists who don't do what you do, who just love making. And that may be the connecting factor. It's great to have social media community. It's a great way, I think, self-promotion and community promotion is fantastic. But in my experience, nothing really beats real life community of art.